Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to all. Enjoy the class on conceptual framework for financial reporting. After study this chapter, you would be able to describe the usefulness of conceptual framework. Second, describe effort to construct a conceptual framework. Third, understand the objective of financial reporting. Four, identify the qualitative characteristics of accounting information. Five, define the basic elements of financial statement. Six, describe the basic assumption of accounting. Seven, explain the application of the basic principles of accounting and last on eight describe the impact that the cost con constraint has on reporting accounting information conceptual framework what is conceptual framework conceptual framework is a coherent system of interrelated objective and fundamentals that can lead to consist standard and that prescribe the nature function and limit of financial accounting and financial statement conceptual framework holo shobar kache grohon joggo coherent shobar kache গ্রহণযোগ্য সর্বসম্মত একটা পদ্ধতি যা অবজেক্টিভ এবং মূল নীতির সাথে সামঞ্জস্য রেখে হিসাব বিজ্ঞানের ফিনান্সিয়াল স্টেটমেন্টের ন্যাচার ফাংশন লিমিট ব্যাখ্যা বিশ্লেষণ করে থাকে This is called conceptual framework. Necessity of conceptual framework. It will assist the financial accounting standard board to issue more useful and consistent standard in future. It will provide a framework for solving new and emerging practical problem. It will increase financial statement users understanding of and confidence in financial reporting. It will improve comparability among the company's financial statement. Conceptual framework Financial Accounting Standard Board के शहायता प्रदान करे भविष्य ते आरो व्यवहार उपजोगी एवं सामाजिक पुन्नो स्टैंडर्ड तो रीते It will provide framework for solving नो तुन कोनो समस्या बा हटात करे कोनो प्रैक्टिकल प्रॉब्लम चिष्टी होले कॉन्सेप्शनल फ्रेमवर्क शेटके सॉल्व करते शाहेता प्रदान कर बे। इट विल इंक्रीस कर बे फिनैंशियल स्टेटमेंट यूजर एर अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड कॉन्फिडेंस इन फिनैंशियल रिपोर्टिंग। फिनैंशियल रिपोर्टिंग करते यूजर के बुझते एवं कॉन्फिडेंस बिल्डअप करते शाहेता प्रदान कर बे। एंड लास्ट ऑन इट विल improve comparability among the company's financial statement bibhinno dhoroner company financial statement gulor moddhe compare korte sahayata pradan korbe these are the necessity of conceptual framework conceptual framework overview the conceptual framework basically three levels 
of conceptual framework first level objectives of financial reporting second level qualitative characteristics and elements of financial statement and third level recognition measurement and disclosure concept first level objectives of conceptual framework the objectives of conceptual framework is provide information about the reporting entity that is useful to present and potential equity investors lenders and other creditors in their capacity as a capital providers this is the objectives of conceptual framework or first level of conceptual framework first level this why purpose of accounting what purpose we have to report financial information in the financial statement this is the objectives of conceptual framework second level qualitative characteristics and elements of financial statement here qualitative characteristics are divided firstly two categories one is fundamental qualities another one is enhancing qualities fundamental qualities also divided two categories one is relevance another one is faithful presentation relevant also three qualities number 1 predictive value number 2 confirmatory value number 3 materiality faithful presentation also three qualities completeness number 2 neutrality number 3 free from error and enhancing qualities includes four factors or four qualities number 1 comparability number 2 verifiability number 3 timeliness number 4 understand ability and elements of the financial statements are number 1 asset number 2 liabilities number 3 equity that means owners equity number 4 income or revenue number 5 expenses these are the second level of conceptual framework these are bridge between the level 1 and level 3 and third level recognition measurement and disclosure concept this concept explain how companies should recognize measure and report financial elements and events basically five assumption of any business entity or business organization first one economic entity assumption going concern assumption monetary unit assumption periodicity assumption and accrual basis accounting assumption these are the five assumption and four principles cost measurement principles revenue recognition principles expenses recognition principles and full disclosure principles these are the principles of any business organization to apply accounting practice or accounting information and constraint cost benefit relationship materiality industry practice and conservatism convention these are the 
on a strain. And third level of conceptual framework, the how implementation in accounting system of an business organization 